Here are three common mistakes that I made when I was a data engineer. Number one, over-engineering solutions. Um, oftentimes, the thing you might need isn't as complicated as you're making it out to seem in your head. And for me, that is something I have had to be okay with in a startup and growing a business because oftentimes all I need uh, is Excel, right? Excel is good enough to build a dashboard, to build a pivot table, to collect data, to do analysis. And so oftentimes, uh, Data engineers are just over engineering solutions. And so uh, that was a mistake that I have definitely made over the last year and throughout my entire career. So number two, um, not communicating to stakeholders. And you can look at this a few different ways. Number one is at the beginning when you truly need to understand the business context. Uh, but number two is also asking business stakeholders for feedback iteratively because that is how you avoid mistakes in the future. Um, by getting feedback and getting somebody else's takes who is going to provide a fresh set of eyes. And then number three, the third biggest mistake I typically made was not testing enough. And by the way, this connects to number two because if I communicate with stakeholders, those stakeholders can actually generate ideas for things that I should be testing. Otherwise, it's impossible to cover all edge cases. I might test 30, 40, 50% of the edge cases that might come up once code goes into production. But if I were to talk to stakeholders, those stakeholders can tell me the other, you know, 20, 30, 40% of things that I should be testing before productionalizing code. And so again, you're never going to get 100% accurate data, data models, ETL pipelines, code in general. Um, but the goal is to get as close as, as you can to a perfect solution before discovering all the edge cases, the bugs, and all the things that could go wrong.